One of the less well-known features in Lightroom is the Enhance uh, feature, with, which actually provides three different uh, functions that you can apply to an image. Denoise, raw details, and super resolution. Now, you're probably familiar with the denoise function because that one is available here in the detail panel in the develop module. And it's great if you've got an image that is very noisy and you want to denoise it using AI. So for example, this image here is ISO 1600 on my Canon 1DS Mark III, which is an older camera. And so for that camera, ISO 1600 is very noisy. Of course, if you've got a newer camera, then the ISO may be different where you're going to see a lot of noise. But here you can see the classic uh, classic noise here, a lot of color noise and luminance noise. And um, this is an image that definitely would benefit from using the AID noise. Now, if I apply the manual noise reduction, so I'll increase the luminance here and the color, you see that it does a decent job of getting rid of the noise. You can still see some noise back here, but the problem is that as I increase this noise reduction manually, it can potentially also degrade the part of the image that you don't want to soften, the part of the image that's most important, like for example, the bird here, because denoise is the opposite of uh, sharpening, and so it will soften your image a bit. So this is a good candidate for adding denoise. So I can click on denoise here, and you see it says loading enha enhanced data, and we get this enhanced preview window the denoise function will be checked. And then you can use this window to uh, get a preview. If I click my mouse button, you see the noise. And then if I let go, you can see how it cleans up the image. And the noise that we saw before when I did the manual noise reduction is, is pretty much gone. And you have an amount slider. I'm going to leave it at 50, but roughly speaking, 50 tends to work for most images. If I click on Enhance now, this will in fact create a second RAW file. Any of the enhance functions will create an additional RAW file. So you will wind up with two RAW files in your library, the original and then the enhanced version. And so I'll wait here a couple of seconds for Lightroom to finish. And here now you see that Lightroom adds the, uh, this, uh, appends this to the file name, enhanced-nr, which tells you that this is a noised the noise reduced version. Now, there are two other ways to get this enhance function. One way is to right click an image and then select enhance. Another way is to have the image selected, then come up to the photo menu and select enhance right here. Now I can uncheck denoise and you'll see that when I do that, I have two other options that become available. One is called the raw details and raw details is Another function that allows you to extract a little more detail, a little more quality out of any RAW file. Now, you can use this with denoise or without denoise, but if you use denoise, then the RAW details comes along for the ride. So you're always gonna get the RAW details when you use denoise. But if you have an image where you don't need to apply noise reduction, you can just apply the RAW details. Now, there's another uh, option here called super resolution. And what this does is that it actually will double the effective size of your RAW file. So to give you a little demonstration of that, if I take my original RAW file here into the print module, and I have uh, this sheet of paper sized at 30 uh, by 40 inches, you can see that at this size, I'm getting an effective resolution or a native resolution of 144 PPI for this image. And 144 PPI is just not enough information to make a good looking print at this size. So if I go back to my library and then I again right click on this image and select enhance, I can uncheck denoise. And this is important because if you want to use super resolution, you cannot use denoise. It's either one or the other. And if you denoise an image and then you have the subsequent raw file, the one that we created before, you also cannot re-enhance, if you will, that raw file. So you can only apply enhance one time and you can either select denoise or raw details or denoise and raw details together, or you can select raw details and super resolution. Because once again, when you select super resolution, the raw details uh, stays on. 
So I'm going to select Super Resolution this time, click on Enhance, and this, it'll, this will take a little while depending on how fast your computer is and how large the file size is. But now we get another file, and you can see that Lightroom has added Enhanced-SR to the file name, Enhanced-Super Resolution. Now, because I could not apply denoise to this image when I wanted to apply super resolution, then I would have to apply manual noise reduction to this image in the develop module to get rid of that noise that was there. Or I could potentially take it out to a third party application to apply noise reduction. But if I now take this image into the print module, you'll see that I now have 288 PPI, essentially double what I had before, in which case now I would have plenty of uh, information and resolution to print at this size. So the super resolution function is great if, again, you need to print an image large, particularly uh, images where you've cropped quite a bit. And so if you've cropped quite a bit and you want to get some of that resolution back, then super resolution is a great feature to bring that back. And, and of course, you do get multiple RAW files. Often for me, when I use the denoise feature on an image or the enhance feature, I will delete the original RAW file because I almost always will want to use the enhanced version of the RAW file going forward. And so I don't want to have two RAW files taking up space on my hard drive. But in this case, I might actually keep the original RAW file around in case I want to generate a, uh, a larger one, a super resolution one. And this way I have that option to choose which one I want to use in the future. It's also good to know that when you use the enhanced feature, all of the adjustments that are on that original image will be copied over to the newly created RAW file. So it doesn't matter whether, whether you haven't started doing anything on the image and you want to use the enhanced feature or whether you've already uh, applied all your adjustments to that image, you can use the enhanced feature at any stage of the developing and all those adjustments will be copied over and be editable, of course, because it's a RAW file. On, with your newly created image. So it's really up to you how you want to manage the space on your hard drive. But the enhanced feature is really powerful. I've actually tested the super resolution against third party applications that upscale your image and it performs just as well. So I like using it in Lightroom. It kind of keeps the workflow a little bit uh, simpler. And uh, most importantly, you still maintain your images in the raw format, giving you all the flexibility to edit your images in the future.